So we've learned how to find some basic two-dimensional dot products, but now let's kick it up a dimension and find a, some three-dimensional dot products. So we have u, which is 1, 2, 1, and v, which is 2, 4, 2. So I don't really have a grid here, but let's just kind of imagine. So over 1, out 2, up 1 would kind of put it there. <laughs> we'll do our best, right? Remember, we don't have scale, so it doesn't really matter because you're going to see what's about to happen. All right, so that's our u vector right there. The u is in blue. All right, now what about the v vector? Well, the v vector is 2, 4, 2, which if you'll notice is a multiple of the u vector. So what's going to happen is it's going to come out to over 4, up 2, and it's going to end up over here. So it starts at the origin and goes all that way. So that's in the same direction. as um, the u vector. It's just twice as long. Interesting. Okay, so if they're in the same direction, if they're parallel vectors, what's going to happen? Let's see. So we're going to take u and we're going to dot product it with v. Now according to the formula, that's the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of the angle between them. All right, well, the magnitude of u, we use our handy-dandy Pythagorean theorem, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. The magnitude of v would be the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared plus 2 squared. And then the angle between them, since they're in the same direction, that means that theta is 0. So then I want the cosine of 0 right here. Technically, it could be radians or degrees, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. You don't need a degree sign after it. So it's, it's the same thing. Okay, so let's see here. This is 1 plus 4 plus 1. So that's the square root of 6. And this is 4 plus 4 plus 16. So that's the square root of 24. And the cosine of 0 is 1. And so we end up with the square root of 6 times 24, which is 144. And the square root of 144 is 12. Nice. All right, so that was intriguing. That was very interesting. We'll come back for that. But we're seeing a special case right there. Well, actually, I can write it down right here. We just saw this. If the vectors are parallel, right, which means if they're working in the same or opposite directions, right, so it would also work if this vector was going this way and that vector was going the opposite way then the dot product is the magnitude of the one vector, the u vector, times the magnitude of the other vector. Or if they're opposite, it would be negative of that. So let me, let me write this down. So there's two cases. u times v, dot product v, is the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Or u times v is negative the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. This one is if they're in the same direction. And this one is if they're in opposite directions. You have a negative in front. Okay, now let's look at this one. So we have u, which is 2, 3. So that's coming out like this. It's in the xy plane. So 2, 3 right there. So this is u. And then v is 2k, which is straight up. 
Now the angle between them is from the xy plane up to the z axis. So that would be 90 degrees, right? Because the z axis is perpendicular, or orthogonal, if you will. Orthogonal is a three dimensional version of perpendicular. So it's orthogonal to that xy plane. Hmm. Okay, so that means that the mag, or excuse me, the dot product of u times v, I was getting ahead of myself, is the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. I'm just going to write the formula here, cosine of the angle. Now the magnitude of u is the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared. The magnitude of v, well, we already know it's 2, but it's the square root of 2 squared plus 0 squared, if you will, plus, plus another 0 squared if this is three-dimensional. So technically, this one also has a little plus 0 squared, but you know, we don't bother writing it. <laughs> but it's there because there's three dimensions. And then the cosine of the angle will be the cosine of 90 degrees because the 90 degrees is the angle between them. Okay, so this would be the square root of 9 plus 4, so the square root of 13, times the square root of 2 squared is 2. And then the cosine of 90 degrees is 0. So that means the whole thing is 0. Hmm. And so that's our other interesting case, our other special case, is that if they're orthogonal, orthogonal is, an, is again, the three-dimensional word for perpendicular. So orthogonal, then the dot product u, dot product with v, will be equal to zero. If that happens, they are orthogonal. Oh, I'm sorry, that's off screen. If that happens, they are orthogonal. And if they are orthogonal, that will happen, right? They go together. That's what if and only if means. If and only if means if it's orthogonal, then this is true. If this is true, then they are orthogonal. They must happen. Same thing up here, parallel. Right? If they're parallel, this will work. And if they're opposite direction, then this will work, period.